Well, hello and Merry Christmas from the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. I just thought I'd do a very quick video uh, to say, uh, well, thank you very much indeed for uh, uh, watching the channel and uh, subscribing to the channel. Hope you all had a great Christmas and I wish you all the very best for the new year. Um, I'm looking, uh, looking a bit odd here because I'm actually looking down into the camera. Um, so I look a little bit a little bit peculiar, but uh, as you can see, getting into the spirit of things. So ho ho ho, and on we go. Now uh, what I thought I'd do is, um, I've just been doing a little bit with the, uh, uh, with the linear amp. I just need to turn the viewfinder around, and then, I, then I'll have to turn the camera around. So this might look a little peculiar, but uh, bear with me. <laughs> Sorry if that made you feel like you were in an aircraft in an aerobatic exhibition. Okay, right, now, this meter here, I don't have the bird at the moment, but this meter here, 1500 watts on this meter here, uh, indicates um, the same as 1500 watts on the bird meter. Reflection of the camera there. Um, it's on the 2 kilowatt range as you can see. So we're looking at the second range up. I'll press the PTT. There you go. It's about it's about 1350 watts. Now I do need to optimise that. Um, as I've said before, probably. But the anode current is 550 milliamps. Grid current is about 240 milliamps. Anode volts 3430. So I'm, uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, Al VK6KIF will get on his calculator and be able to tell me what the efficiency is uh, quicker than I can do it. So what was that? That was, so it drops from 3,870 3, to uh, 3,000, call it 3,400 at uh, 550 milliamps. And uh, it's given about 1,350 watts output. But the uh, the really nice thing is, the really nice thing is, there you go. The output is a nice sine wave. That's the that's the output from the linear amp. So it hasn't got that peculiar squashing up at the bottom. It's a nice linear sine wave. So there we are, 1,350 watts. Nice linear sine wave. Um, I'm still tweaking, so um, I have seen a lot more power out of it. I might need a bit more anode volts. We'll see how it goes. I think that's probably going to be about the, the most anode volts I can get out of it because um, I'm probably going to have to use that uh, toroidal transformer there because the black transformer you can just see peeking out there won't give me uh, more than 3,000 volts under load, so the big toroidal transformer is going to have to go in it, I think. I would like to get uh, 1500 watts out of it rather than the 1350. Not that I'd be able to use that much power on the air, of course, but you know, it's a big old lump. I mean, if you look at that, it's a big old lump in it for 1350 watts. Really, this should should be a 1500 watt amplifier. So that's uh, that's what I'm aiming for. So a bit of tweaking to go, but um, all the head scratching with regard the with regard the peculiar output waveform uh, has gone. Because that, uh, yeah, picking up something fair, right? Because that looks pretty good to me. Okay, well, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time, probably without the ludicrous red hat with the white bobble on. Of course, you'll never know that because you never see me. Uh, cheers.